There's a mission here, and I've been looking at this mission online repeatedly. I'm gonna let these copper fellers. Fucking go! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm watching fucking news. I can't believe what I just saw. He had her meals. He wants some of her meals. Um, here's the mission. All right, we're gonna go do it. Um, if you guys don't know who um Nikola Tesla is, this is rock stars. Red Dead Redemption 2, Nikola Tesla. Um, there's another mission. The only time you can do it is that is, um, wait, there's three missions for him. And I don't think we'll ever be able to do them all. There's this one, where you help him out in the park. And then there's one where you... Morning. Hello there. Lost him. Alright, so... I didn't help him because I guess I just committed a crime. I've had better days, that's for sure. Look here. Can I melee him? But I look at you and I know things can always be worse. Let's see about this. You have the problem? I'm on it. Get me around. No home train. Excuse me. Oh no. You don't, don't make this difficult. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a hard time, but I'll explain the mission since I'm probably not going to get to all. Um, there's even a robot and shit you can find. Find in the first round here. I'll let you see this mission. Uh, after this, it has to be a dark stone night. You go to this thing and you meet him and you help him set up some conductors and stuff so it catches the lightning. And then a robot, he has a robot, and it starts walking, takes a few steps, and then stops. And then if you go back again, he's laying dead on the floor and he has this little um, lantern thing. It's not a regular lantern. It's like, it's got a light bulb in it. So it takes it and you follow it and it's got a red marker on it. No, oh, where is he? Better not be gone now. It's got a red marker on it and um, you follow it up to the mountain, find the robot. And it just keeps repeating master, master, master. What? I'm going to grab a bolt rifle. I gotta go get my bolt rifle all fixed up soon. Be right 
back. I gotta, er, well, I'm not leaving. I just gotta open my door real quick. a lot more lately because I have a job. Y'all know how jobs work. Skirt. I'm gonna feed my fish real quick. Oh damn, I pulled my phone off the bed. Where'd it go? Right there. I feel like our life is just a big video game, and my player is real lazy. He he tried to make his character as ugly as he could, but the game stopped him because they realized it'd be too ugly. Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> You okay, bud? Oh. Yes, but you Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am. I also have a bounty to go get a guy up somewhere, but it's not showing right now, and I still hope I'm I have a fucking the bounty. genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. We'll skip this. Some investors come along and he's trying to show them. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. They touch the butt or the boat? Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. I got one, see? Yes, very well done. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. All the mines. I'm gonna clear these waters. I think I'll try to do all this mission. There, I'm going for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> that sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Let me just reload her. 
This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart bomb. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But what a big fun. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even them with me. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. I don't know where the hell Dover Hill is. <laughs> I hope you will forgive my European course. In the Balkan, we are a memberless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once more. And, and, and this is for a minute. Don't you test me. Okay. You better have heard me. Five professors. No, I need to find over here. See no Dover. All right. Let me take the reins there, Mr. Dorch von der Lund. Dutch van der Leen, Dutch van der Leen. What's your problem, huh? I can do a pretty good Irish accent. Dutch van der Leen. Come on here right now, you sick fuck. Win 
just skip stitches. I just lost my ass. I still have three. Give you something to talk about if you don't stop. Private Michael Jackson of the...
Tu... You know how there's usually three difficulties in Minecraft? They add another one. So there's peaceful, easy, medium, hard, and ping the boner. And more on today's show. Your co star, Caden Gilly. Off this way, and y'all gonna have to learn the hard way that peeing with a boner is not okay. No one will ever find him. Off this way. I hit that dude with the 360. Off this way. I'm done, bye. I 